Today we fly over the famous Cathedral Square, the main square of Vilnius. It would be difficult to overstate its importance. This square is the heart of Lithuania's history, faith, culture, and modern life. Vilnius, as a city, began in this very location. The legend says, that Grand Duke Gediminas slept here, dreaming of an iron wolf. His seer interpreted his dream as a command, to build a world-famous city here, and so Gediminas established Vilnius as the new capital of Lithuania. Appropriately, Cathedral Square now has this sculpture of Gediminas, with an iron wolf standing right beside him. The history of Vilnius has been extremely eventful, and every single century has left its major traces on the Cathedral Square, arguably more so than in most other historic central squares of Europe. For example, the Cathedral Belfry itself actually consists of several distinct parts. The upper part which you can see now is ornate, as it was initiated during the peaceful period when the Baroque architecture of Vilnius had few equals in the entire region. The lower part of the belfry, however, is nothing else but an original 13th century medieval defense tower. These days, its entrance is among the most popular meeting spots in Vilnius. Back in medieval days, what is now the Cathedral Square area, used to be a heavily fortified lower castle of Vilnius. The darker line on the tiles of the square that you can see now, actually marks the very location where the mighty defensive wall once stood. The lower castle is long since gone. As the bloody medieval centuries and Lithuania's wars against the Crusading Knights came to an end, Vilnius expanded as a peaceful and glorious capital of what was by then the Europe's largest country, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, stretching from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea. That massive Grand Duchy was also ruled from this very square. The Grand Duke's palace that stands in here today, however, counterintuitively, is the newest addition to the Cathedral Square, having been completed only in 2018. That's because the original palace had been demolished by Russian Empire after it had conquered Lithuania in 1795, symbolizing the tragic end of Lithuania's role as a great power. After 1990, newly independent Lithuania looked back into its history to celebrate its lost glories. What better way to do it than by rebuilding its primate seat of power? The mightiest castle of Vilnius, known as the Upper Castle, or Gediminas Castle, however, survived through the centuries. Its iconic red brick tower still rises above the cathedral square and beyond. Its modern symbolic value likely surpasses whatever defensive value it ever had. Every conqueror, that passed through Vilnius, had raising their flag here among their first missions. The Lithuanian tricolor that proudly waves today is considered to be the nation's primary flag, ceremoniously replaced every new year. Climbing, or taking the new elevator, here, is on every tourist's bucket list, and the tower's form itself is so iconic that it was chosen as Vilnius trademark. By the industrial 19th century, though, lowlands became far more important than hills for the city expansion. Two kilometers long avenue, to this day the main street of Vilnius, was laid at the time, starting, of course, at the belfry of the cathedral. Still, the building that truly dominates the square is the cathedral itself. In this single building, you can witness all the glories and tragedies of Vilnius. The main facade dates to 1801, and follows a neoclassical design, copying Greek, and Roman temples. It is this, much older, chapel though that is the most important part of the cathedral. Since 1636, this opulent chapel houses the remains of Saint Casimir, Lithuania's most famous saint. And can you guess which part of the cathedral is the newest? Those three sculptures of saints on the top. The originals were destroyed by the Soviets who closed down the cathedral in 1949, and the current ones were built in 1996. By the way, the religious importance of this location far predates the square or even the Catholic faith of Lithuania. Before the city has encroached it, this was a holy valley to the Lithuanian pagans. You could not see that anymore, though, besides occasional pagan-inspired equinox festivities. All in all, the Cathedral Square of Vilnius has enough history for an entire city. Yet, it is only a small part of the massive Vilnius Old Town. We will show the other landmarks and tell their stories in our next Lithuanian drone tour videos. Subscribe to this channel and you'll be among the first people to see them.